Okay, everyone, we are on our way to the outlets from our previous drive. Um, I don't even know what's happening here, so we're gonna bike it in the right lane. I'm gonna let it do its thing starting from here. It is an advantage that there is very little traffic today. I'm kind of surprised. Um, I don't know what's go going on. There's get sunglasses on um it seems like oddly little traffic for this area so that helps um high traffic definitely would have made this more difficult okay and you should not go oh wait yeah you can go never mind um it should not go now and not go now okay so go just go for it Oh, okay. Um, maybe the light turned green. I just wasn't paying attention. The other car had stopped. So that that was actually just fine. That did that fine. This is actually going to... You're really not going to have much. I'm just going to stay quiet during the highway driving. Unless there's anything major. To um, make this a pretty quick video. Maybe, maybe we can make this another zero disengagement. Oh, see that? That right there. I didn't disengage, but I should have. I, I'm gonna have to review it, but I'm gonna. I'll label it a routing issue if I think that's a routing issue. That was a good yield. That was good. Is it gonna change lanes automatically? Mm, doesn't look like it, so let's change lanes. Okay, we're going to speed. I'm checking my blind spot. There is no one here, so I should just go ahead and get over. get over it because it's not seeing the lane lines very well okay I'm, I'm calling that a disengagement everyone just because it shouldn't make drastic quick sharp movements like that um, so yeah that's um that's where we're gonna be I'm just gonna cruise on the highway and get there and um, we'll see what we do the speed limit actually is 55 in this section, so I don't want to go this fast over. I'm going to go ahead and get back over afterwards. Um, and then we'll, we'll go from there. So yeah, this is doing exactly what I want to do. This is great. This is good behavior for navigating an autopilot. saw that everyone um i just had to process it for a second that car decided hey we're gonna go get in the right lane and it's just like we're gonna go immediately get back over in the left lane humans do that and i i'm starting to really think that's why navigate on autopilot does these weird throw it over and get back over movements because humans have trained it to do that like that is a terribly bad way to drive and it almost caused the wreck. As you can see, that car on the left was going to keep on going, and then it had to put on its brakes. So the other car, then it hit it, it caused a wreck. So it just, I'm starting to really think that's what's causing most of the issues with navigating autopilot. It's just poor humans not training the, the car well. Look at there, an edge case. Um, okay, well, that guy's cleaning up on the road. But you don't see a human run across the highway very often. Um, fortunately, we weren't closer to see how the car reacted, but that for sure is an edge case. It beeped because it saw the human on the side of the road. It can even detect it there. This is going to be actually a good test. So this video is probably going to be needing something along the lines of humans on the side of the highway, I don't know, something, something more <laughs> more creative than that. But this um, actually gives a unique case of people being on the highway, someone crossing the highway, what does the car do? Okay, so we're about to get off the exit. We'll see how this works. I think we're going too fast right now. 
too fast. I'm gonna manually slow it down. This is. I don't like how fast this go. Okay. Yeah, that was um too fast to get off that exit for sure. Still made it, but wasn't comfortable for me. And I'm someone who likes going fast around curves. In 500 feet, turn right onto okay, go ahead and get in your lane. Now turn right onto Brevard Road. If anyone not in this area, that's supposed to... Oh. Okay, that curve right there. Disengagement. It's supposed to be called Brevard Road. It's Brevard, not Brevard. Um... You can go. And so the curb, there it wasn't paved. So the problem is the curb. We're going too fast right here. Um, curved, is it paved? So it is risen up higher and thus has a really good chance of getting curving my wheels. So we got way too close to that. So I didn't want to take any chances. I think the speed limit is actually 35 up right here. Needs to get over in this left lane. Oh wait, no sorry, not this one. Next one. Oh, cone, 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 it missed the cone good, right here. Oh, wait a second, oh, no, okay. I'm going right here, because I'm actually going into superchargers. Um, this is, so that's not a disengagement, that's just, again, routing to not where I want to go. I didn't want to, Pre-condition for the supercharger, so I didn't route for the supercharger. Let's see. Okay, never mind. So we didn't get to see this. But yeah, this drive was expected. This again, this really should have been called 9.3. They messed up on this version 10. Onyx, what's wrong? Doggy's having some cough issues. Um Really shouldn't have been called nine, nine could have, should have been called nine point three, not version ten. Um, this was not any cr major crazy updates in my eyes. Um, so I think that's part of the problem. Okay, so that drive was acceptable. Again, not great, and uh, I don't think really any better. Nine point two. Well, room for it. Rephrase that. It was better in a few areas, but not other, and not in others. Thanks for everyone for watching. Bye.